Hi, in today's session of variations, we have one more problem. The problem is 1200 soldiers in a fort had enough food for 28 days. After four days, some soldiers were transferred to another fort and thus the food lasted now for 32 more days. How many soldiers left the fort? This is slightly, very slightly complex problem, but the fundamentals remain same. Like if the quantity of the food is constant, then if we increase the number of soldiers, the food will last for lesser days, lesser number of days. And if we decrease the number of soldiers, the food will last for more days, right? And the turning point here occurs after four days. So let's see what happens in this problem. We can write the number of days the food lasts is actually inversely proportional to the number of soldiers. So we can write number of days food last is actually inversely proportional to the number of soldiers, right? This means actually number of days is equal to if we remove this proportional to sign, we have to replace it by a constant which is k divided by number of soldiers, right? Now we have this fact over here. It says the food is sufficient for 28 days if there are 1200 soldiers. The situation remains same till four next four days. But what happens after four days? After four days, actually after four days, Number of remaining days will be 28 minus 4, which will be equal to k by 1200, right? That means even after 4 days, if there are, even after 4 days, if there are 1200 number of soldiers, the food will be sufficient for 28 minus 4, that is 24 days. Right? So let's call this as equation number one. But after four days, some soldiers, we don't know how many, but some soldiers were transferred to another fort. And now the food will last for 32 more days. We don't know how many soldiers were transferred. So we will assume that n number of soldiers were transferred. Let's assume it is n. n number of soldiers were transferred to another fort. And now the food will last for 32 more days. So now let's see what is the new situation actually is. So now the food is lasting for 32 days. And how many soldiers are there? We have assumed that n number of soldiers are transferred. So the remaining soldiers will be 1200 minus n. Right? So now let's call this as equation number 2. Now let's divide equation number 1 by 2. So we will have 28 minus 4. Let's solve that. That will be 24 divided by 32 will be equal to equation 1. We have to write as it is. That is k divided by 1200 which is divided by the right hand side of the equation 2 which is a fraction so it will be multiplied by the inverse of the right hand side of equation 2 which will be 1200 minus n divided by k and in this process this k and this k will get cancelled and we have to find the value of this n. We have to find how many soldiers were transferred. So we will multiply both the sides of the equation by 1200. So that we can get rid of this 1200. So the new, new equation will be, I am writing the right hand side first. So it will be 1200 minus n equal to 1200 multiplied by 24 and divided by 
32. Now this 24 and 32 both are the multiples of 8. So 8 3 is a 24. 8 4 is a 32. 4 3 is a 12. And 0 0. So this is equal to 3 3 is a 9. 100. Right? So the value of n will be 1200 minus 900 that is 300. So there are n that is 300 soldiers which are transferred to another fort so that the food will last 32 days in place of 24 remaining days.